Hello there. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's free and helps me out a lot. You can also catch me live at twitch.tv slash snapplesva. I'd be happy if you'd stop by. And lastly, don't forget to wear your headphones. Huh. Who could be knocking at this hour? I'm coming! Ah! Hey there, sugar. How's it going? Are you doing alright? Whoa! Uh, a tight hug already, sugar? You know, I'm not opposed to it, but is something the matter? I never took you for someone who needs hugs really badly. Oh, I see. You just missed me is all? Goodness, I thought something happened and all that. Don't you dare scare me like that again. But yes, you didn't have to hug me so suddenly. But I get it, it's been a while since we've had such a good time with each other. I can't exactly express how much I've missed hanging out, you know. Work, school, etc, etc. Life just keeps making everyone busy every damn time with no time for each other. But hey, it seems we're both lucky. Because we have some time on our hands now, don't we? <laughs> But you know, you could always hang out with me. No matter the time, no matter the place. Except if you wake me up while I'm sleeping, I'll probably punt a pillow to your face. <laughs> but enough with that, dear. Let's get inside. It's getting a bit too cool now, hasn't it? Come on, hon. You're shaking and rattling like a wet dog. Come on. It's okay, you can come in. So, any particular thing you're thinking of doing with me? Maybe just chat with some tea or coffee? A game, maybe? Still don't know what to say. <laughs> it's fine. Although your expression seems, um, really sad, I won't lie. You sure you're not holding out on me? I understand if it's something difficult to explain or to talk about. Hell, it may be if you don't want to trust me with whatever's on your mind. I... I see. Like I said, it's understandable. You just want to take your mind off it, I reckon. Let's watch some TV. Maybe even play some games, if you're willing. Would that be okay with you? Alrighty then, hun. Um, just sit back and uh, chill on the couch. Um, I'll go grab you some snacks and some blankets, and I'll make sure you're quite warm, comfy, and... Most importantly, not alone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Let's grab those. Let's grab some of these. And let's keep grabbing some stuff. Alright, there we go. I think that should be well enough for tonight's bash. <sighs> Hopefully this does help them in some way or form. Alright, here you go, hon. Some nice blankets and, uh, some of your favorite sweets and treats. <laughs> you already picked out your favorite comfort movie, I see. Not my particular favorite, but it's still quite enjoyable. Now, make some room for me. Cause honestly, I'm dead tired from yesterday. Ah, this is the life, isn't it? Just you, me, and a nice, relaxing movie night together. Oh ho? Did I see a slight smile on your face? Aww, that's really good to see! I'm glad to hear I'm already making you feel all relaxed and happy. <sighs> okay, I'm sorry, sugar. I, um, I won't deny it. I'm having a bit of a rough time staying quiet about this. Clearly, there's something bugging you in your sweet little head of yours. You were always more chatty and energetic of the two of us, so won't you mind if I ask then? Is there something wrong? We've been through enough already, so please, tell me what's on your mind. I promise I won't judge, and you know who I am with my promises. Here, you won't mind if I grab you by the hand now, don't you? There, there. Still not enough to pry it open, huh? That's completely fine. And hey, since you've given me such a nice and sweet hug before I even said a word, I think it's time to repay you for such. Come here, hon. Shh, it's okay. You have plenty of time to say what you have to. Take your time. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm aware you dress like that. Something that I admire most about you, truth be told, huh? Well, yeah. You were very open about it, and after that, you became more social about it. I thought it was pretty cool how you weren't afraid about it anymore, how well you owned it. Even if people were very much shocked at first, even me. Then we started to getting a lot more bold. Well, I know you like those type of clothes. I mean, you wear it all the time, right? I mean, I don't exactly, um, wear the, uh, clothes assigned to my gender. <laughs> As a femboy. <laughs> hey, why are you bringing all this up? Is something wrong? Oh, wow, um, I, I see. My thoughts on these ideas and feelings about being transgender? Well, hmm. Give me some head pads. Well, for starters, I want you to understand that I won't leave you. You're still very much my closest friend, for starters. And trust me, that isn't going to change. No matter how much time tends to take each other's attention, I will always and will care about you. You are who you choose to be and how you want to live. If you want to live your life being trans, it's completely your choice to continue. But just know, I've got your back if some asshat starts talking smack about you. Don't worry about anything, sugar. Of course. I've known you for a long time, and I don't care if you are transgender. I just care that you're doing okay and realize it's no big deal. Doesn't change anything besides what I call you by. Although, I think calling you honey and sugar is perfect for you, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, I know you're that you're still the same friend I'll be with for a very long time. I understand you just need some understanding from someone who you feel comfortable with. Maybe even some validation for it. It's cool, it's cool. You just take your time with reflecting, alright? Find out who you are, alright? And if you already have, sweet. Just keep being your lovely little you, hun. I'm with you, okay? Are you okay? Oh, did I make you flustered with my motivational speech? Red like a damn tomato there, sugar. Quite a lovely shade of red, aren't you? <laughs> all right, all right. Just, I want you to realize that I care about you. And that I just want you to know that all I want is to make you feel better about it. But, ah, uh, yes. Might as well ask, but does anyone else know? Wow. I won't deny there. Legitimately thought that you would have told someone else about such ideas and thoughts. But I really am honored that you told me right away. I know how difficult it must have been to try to figure it out and come out to me like this. And as whom you can trust would either accept you or what not. I am glad you told me though, truly. Aww. Thanks, hun. I see you as one of my closest friends as well. Really. Number one right there. <laughs> but yes. Was that all there was to your confession? Okay, okay. That well, that's good to hear at least. Thanks for telling me. Just know what whatever people say, whatever they might think of you, it doesn't matter. You are the person who made the decision to take this path in life, which makes you a strong person for making this much of a big choice. I believe that you are one of, if not the most, valid person I've ever met. And you deserve the world's best wishes. No one can take that away from you. And no one can say otherwise without fighting your better judgment, and mine as well. And, once again, to beat a dead horse, I care. And I know other people care about you very deeply. They will support you, at the very least, I will. No matter what comes your way, I'm going to be here for you, no matter what. Did that help at all? You seem to be smiling. I can't exactly see with your hair, you know. 
Of course, it's no problem, hon. Remember, I'm not going anywhere. So don't worry about a thing. And as I said before, if you ever truly feel ever lost or even feel as if everyone and everything is against you i'm going to be here for you and just let you know that everything will work out just fine it's just that sometimes we all need that little flame inside of us to remind ourselves that we can and we'll be able to come out of this alive no matter how burnt out we are afterwards it's far better to realize in life you can only go as far as up and if you've ever hit rock bottom all you'll have to do is simply climb back up once again. It will be difficult, of course, but that's the whole point of it. It is supposed to be difficult. Without it being difficult, it will never be as rewarding and meaningful once you finally face true peace and tranquility. You have the strength to go through this, hun. Make no mistake. Even if you don't feel particularly strong, it is there. I see it. The flame burns on and on. You will be okay at the end of it all, sugar. Because whatever they say can't voice over how you feel and what you can do. You're who you are, and I like it just the way you are, hun. Don't you ever forget it. Oh, it's okay if you want to cry too. There's nothing wrong with needing to cry. I'm here for you. Always. And remember, you're very much welcome to stay here for a bit if you want. It's getting quite dark from what I can tell. The twilight is very beautiful out tonight, and uh, I don't think you've come all this way all snuggled up just to suddenly take off, you know? <laughs> oh, it's no problem, sugar. I'm just glad you trust me, and I assure you from the bottom of my heart, I deeply trust you too, with all my own thoughts and all of yours kept secret. And I'll also be here if you need someone to try to figure out as to how to come out to the rest of the group, too. Well, if you'd like to anyways. But if not, that's completely fine. Take your steps as much as you can before going through something that big of a leap, you know? Now then, enough of this mushy stuff, eh? <laughs> Let's focus on the thing we've been trying to do for the past hour or so. Let's have a good time hanging out. Just the two of us, hun. Now, if you don't pop something up for the movies, I'll just take control then. <laughs> Snapple body pillows are now available at Cuddly Octopus. The link is shown on the screen now. Thanks to my Patreons and my YouTube members for supporting me.